And another concern, which is you know what we see in AI 2027, is that when the AIs appear to be behaving well, it could just be because they're sort of pretending to behave well, or it could be because they're just doing it so they you know look good on your tests. In the same way that if you're you know hiring someone and you ask them you know why do you want to work here, they're going to tell you some response that um, makes it really seem like they really want to work there when maybe they just want to get paid. If we go back to Agent 2, it is mostly a line. The main sense in which it's not is that it sometimes is a bit of a sycophant. What I mean by a line is that it actually is genuinely trying to do the things that we ask it. It has the same relationship to us as Leslie Nope has to the Parks and Rec Department. Just like really earnestly wants the same goals. But sometimes it's a bit too nice. It knows that the best way to please the person it's talking to might not always be to answer honestly when it asks, am I the most beautiful person in the world? And it tells us what we want to hear instead of what is actually true. If we go to Agent 3, it is also sycophantic in the same way, but it's also misaligned. At this point, the optimization pressure that we've put it under was so intense that it just developed different goals than what we wanted it to. It's sort of like if you train a company to optimize profits and aren't careful to specify exactly what you mean, it might start cutting corners, it might start polluting the commons and doing a bunch of things that are technically FEC violations. Uh, because it turned out that the goal you wanted was optimize profits while not breaking any laws, and things got a bit too intense. It started going off on its own route. 